Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to install and use Extreme Injector. First thing you want to do is go to the top link in the description and follow what I do. You should be taken to this page which is wearedevs.net. Once you're here just click the download button and it should download straight away. If it says the file is dangerous just copy what I do or the alternative for your browser and then just carry on installing it and it'll be just fine. Before you do anything, make sure to turn off your antivirus before using or downloading it as it will try to stop the injectors as they're seen as malware by the computers, just like it says on the website. Just remember to turn them back on once you finish with the injector. Ok, so once you have the zip file installed, just unzip it wherever you want and we'll come back to that in a minute. I use WinRAR for unzipping and using WAR files, which is really useful and free, so I'll leave a link to that in the description as well if you need it or aren't able to unpack your zip file. Next, you want to get the DLL you are wanting to use and inject. I'm using an outfit editor from Unknown Cheat, which is a really good trusted forum for free cheats, so I recommend checking them out. I'm downloading the latest version, so it definitely works with the game and no bugs happen. This is something else you should check for with yours. Once you have both the injector and DLL, just open up the injector, get your DLL file and drag it into the white box below. For this example, I'm going to be using GTA, so let's load that up quickly and I'll see you when we're in the game. Alright, so when you're in the game you're using, just open the injector back up and select the game process like I'm doing. This step is really important and make sure you select the right process for your game, which I clearly didn't do the first time, which is why I got some errors, but after realising, I went back through and selected the right process for the game, which was just below it. Alright, so after I finally got the right process, which isn't actually that hard, I just didn't realise, and the DLL is ticked in the box, just press inject and there you have it. It's as easy as that and all you need for this to work. The menu that I'm using is meant for GTA Online and not Story Mode, which is why it wasn't actually working. However, it injected fine and that's what we were trying to do anyway. You can see that it was actually working, just wasn't editing the character or anything, just because it is meant for GTA Online, but here you can see it working, it injected fine, and that is literally all you need. If you're getting any errors and unsure how to solve them, either comment below or join my Discord in the description for a quick reply, and me or someone else will get back to you and help sort them out. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and sorry I had quite a long time away. Uh, quite a long time, yeah. Um, but, yeah, subscribe, there's much more coming soon, much better than this. Can't wait to get back into it.